welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a mermaid inspired hair tutorial. Perfect for the summer. I want to do some really like intense beachy waves. This is kind of inspired by um, the Tone It Up girls. They always have great beachy hair. So I am using my new me wand today. I love this wand. It's the reverse curling wand. It's a little bit bigger on the bottom and smaller on top. That's how I get kind of like the ends to fade out. It looks really pretty and um, I'm also wearing my AB hair extensions today. If you guys want to use the code for 15% off, I will leave that down below, so check them out. And yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so you want to start by clipping in your extensions. Okay, so today I am using my new me wand. I love this wand. Literally heats up in seconds and it gets like super hot. Um, it gets a little bit thicker at the bottom here to thinner, so it's great for like that really beachy, more like natural look. Like it looks like you got out of the beach and are out of the, what's it called? The ocean. <laughs> and that's why your hair looks like this. So that's what we're going for today. Like, All right, you guys have seen me do this a million times. Take a one inch, sec one inch section with your wand wrap it around, leave two inches out at the ends. I start by going away from my face and then I do the next section towards my face and I keep alternating the curls each time. You only have to hold it for a few seconds. This wand heats up so fast and then make sure that you finger comb each section after you're done before they set. Move on to the next section and do it the same way. Okay, so I'm kind of scrunching it without nothing while it's still hot. Like I said, we just want this look to be really textured. Okay, so now we are on to like the top half. So you want to grab your dry shampoo. This is really important to give you lots of volume and lots of texture in your hair. So I use Batiste, which I've said before. I take it right on either side of my part. And then on the sides of my head, my crown, and a little like right there. Okay, and now I'll go on curling like normal. You want to let this sit in your hair for a good five to ten minutes and like really work in, soak up all the oils and gives your give your hair like lots of nice volume. Shining bright, edge of the water, we were feeling all right. Back down a country road, the girls are always hot, and the beer is ice cold. Cadillac horns on the hood, my buddy Frankie had his dad hook him up good. Girls smile when we roll by, they hop in. So, if you guys have watched any of my other tutorials, you know that on the very top layer and sometimes the second layer, I always spray my L'Oreal Boost It High Lift Creation Spray. This is just like teasing in a can and I love it, but I'm almost out of it now. So now I'm just going to tease, 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 tease. So I tease it as high as it will go. So 
See what I mean? And I'll fix it. But if you guys are having a hard time getting your hair to tease, get this spray. Seriously, see how good it works. And just leave it and curl the rest of your hair. Just leave it. I know it's probably hard. Oh my god. Shining bright, edge of the water, we were feeling all right. Back down a country road, the girls are always hot, and the beer is ice cold. Cadillac, horns on the hood. My buddy Frankie had his dad hooking up good. Girls smile when we roll by, they hop in the back and we cruise to the riverside. Never gonna roll up. Okay, so now you should have everything curled. Go ahead and just tame down that tease a little bit. And finger comb your hair so it's not like too, too curly. Definitely want to do this on hair that is not freshly washed because that will give you more texture and volume also. Okay, so now for the fun part we want. So now we want to go ahead and use a sea salt spray. I am using the one from TG. I'm just spray it all over and start to really scrunch your hair up. Mess it up. Get underneath. I'll even use a comb a little bit to kind of tease it up. You want to keep like the tippy top kind of smooth, like I mean you can make it teased obviously, but not too too frizzy. Okay, so that side's pretty much how I want it. Now I'm going to work on this side. Okay, so now you can leave it like this, but I am going to change it up a little bit, do something a little bit more fun. Okay, so this part is super easy. All you need are four bobby pins. So trust me when I say it's so quick and easy, but it's a great technique to do if your bangs aren't going the way that you want them to. So that happens to me a lot, like they just don't curl right or they're not laying right. So I do this real quick, pin them up, and it makes them look better. So all you do is just grab the front few pieces and then I kind of bring it like over my tease section, right behind my ear, open my bobby pin and slip it in, take another bobby pin and go the opposite way, go from under if I can get it. Okay, same thing on the other side. So quick. Take your bangs over the teased area, right at your ear, pin once. Take your other bobby pin, pin twice, bring some hair out. 
Okay, so see how quick that is? And I think it looks really cute too. And then it doesn't change the back, so you don't even need to worry about like looking in a mirror, making sure it looks good in the back because you're not even messing with the back at all. Okay, so that is everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you try it out. If you do, please send me a picture. I would love to see. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like hair tutorials and I will do them more often. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I make new videos every single week and I really appreciate you guys watching and commenting every week. And um, that's everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.